Oh lads, I'm at the being in bed since eight o'clock, like couldn't sleep at all. I'm afraid to even turn the light on. I'm using the light of the fridge here and it's born in the eyes now. Me. Went to bed at eight o'clock, didn't go to sleep, it's like nearly one o'clock now. So I may as well go down and get ready. I'm at been up there thinking about every you know, you hear people talking trash. I'm at been up there thinking trash, like the amount of thoughts going through my head, the conversations you had with someone when you were a kid and school teachers giving out and weird stuff man they just I'm like oh just get down get ready get back in the get get not even get back in the zone get in the zone get ready to smash this what I done was I packed every single thing I needed into this box for the four stage just got them dumped out and then I forgot this okay emergency in case in case of emergency you're gonna like I don't intend to need it I don't intend to be too far from Civilization. If we need, if we get an old uh, Jesus, call an H over there. At least the boys will know that I'm looking after you. Because I know they most definitely didn't think of me. So, uh, right, so that's the bag back there. Look, see, these, these are handy just you don't put your phone into because it's one thing if it rains, people are kind of aware of that, but the, uh, the sweat throughout the day is sweat on the phone as well. It's not good, you know, so I don't know whether it's going bounce in these pockets or not. Hopefully it doesn't. If it does, I'll have to put them into my race belt. Oh yeah, 100k, let's go. We need to get 14, well, 12 to 14 hours of tunage. Go for that one. Oh man, now, now, do you, now do you have a little bit of data on us, like giving us your Spotify was giving us some wacky suggestions there a minute ago, but we're all good now. Yeah, I feel like we've given a good lash this year and walking on, and this would be a nice little physical challenge to finish it off with, so. Good afternoon, Sean. Welcome to the run. Say hello to our friend. That's right. Yeah, we have to go up and meet uh, Wayne at the church now and then we'll spin up the cans, you know? I'm not confident that I didn't forget anything in the hill. You're not confident that you didn't forget? No. I got jacks all there in case anybody needs it. That was the only thing I could think of that. That was the only thing I could remember that we forgot. Tornado said on the weather. I swear to God, I turned <laughs> on the weather up a fucking tornado. Fucking. I thought you were at the doctor and up. No, I swear to God, I swear to God. Because I was looking out, I was expecting to be lashing and it was there. Uh, it was calm, you know, but I was like, ah, it's grand. Have safety goggles with me, anyways, in case there is one. Yeah, that's grand. Good on it. It's not too heavy, like, you know what I mean? So, be good. What? Yeah, that's what I think, because it's a fine line, you know? It's the top off the top of us. How you show me every single day. Good to see you, fam. Got a lot of headwinds today, man, yeah? Oh, sorry. Set an alarm for half four, half five, half six, half seven, half eight, yeah? Just at least now you know what your alarm's for and we know what my one's for. Because yeah. you be trying to. Both the teeth. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, you don't want to forget them. Yeah. 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 You want to see the thoughts that were going through my head there? Did anyone I'll sleep last night? Not a week, not a week. <laughs> I, I was lucky, I got, the, I got to sleep safe at nine, half nine last night. Yeah. So I got four hours. Well, press the button there, it doesn't fair. Keep me rolling, lads, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So I'm just, just warming up here, going along the Fino for like 1k in, something like that. We about three or four hours. The, uh, daylight is in uh, is at half eight, so the plan is to be along the coast when we're uh, 
when it's getting bright, you know. I've got a brand new pair of runners on me, and there's a stone in it. I was like, how in the name of God is that had to happen? Give us a thumbs up there, boys. <laughs> They're behind there somewhere. Left, boys. Right, ready to rock. 25k done. 75 to go. Just finished for our first little stop break. Our first little fuel break, should I say. We're out here then. Lagging road in Finglas. Shani's in charge of the, of the music. Ken is in charge of overall well being. This man here is the pace police. He's keeping us on track, so. <laughs> Someone come around the corner, they'd be like, what in the name of Jays is going on here, lads? At all? No. Ken, how's the body feeling? Feeling great, Joe. Yeah. Plenty of fuel on board. All good, brother. Is that Walden? How are you feeling? Good, yeah. 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 Shani. Shani's up there in track. Minister for sound, Shani is. <laughs> Our game is throwing. What is he? Uh, master of sound. DJ, sound yeah. he is, yeah. <laughs> so we check in as we're going along there. Uh, it's good to be out of Fino. I'm looking forward to start getting bright. I'll tell you that. Give the morale a little boost then as well. We need to just do another another 25k at the pace that we're after doing this 25k. And uh, we'll be laughing then, you know. 63k in. And a thumbs up. I don't even mind that thumbs up, I'm, uh, I'm not feeling good now. I'm like the Grinch who tried to stay at Christmas, like, of a pain, of a pain in me, everything. Uh, fuck's sake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna struggle for the last little bit, so you've like, what, 37 kilometers left. Fuck off, I'm not getting in your video. I'm like, I'm all out, so. We start off with five. One fella drowned along the way and uh, two of the boys went ahead so we, we need to make sure well it's unlikely that we're going to get back for the, the finish line you know so uh, Ken and uh, Ken and Wayne went ahead but uh, this is fucking character building I swear to god man oh like just like uh, that up, my knee was killing me like so. I injured my knee a few weeks ago and I was, I was like more nervous about my knee. More nervous about my knee than I actually, you know, I was just nervous that I was going to start acting up so it was killing me from the start and then I took a few Norofin and went away. And then I was just like, just getting, just getting tired. So uh, I never drink like coffee or anything with caffeine in it so Sean has chewing gums with caffeine in them, he said to give you a little perk so tried that then I tried uh, this gels with caffeine nothing happened then I had a cup of coffee for the first time in about 45 years I just don't drink it next minute I'm like what the fuck like pure jittery like as if I was back in my raving days but uh, look I'm as close to an hour as I've ever been you know but uh, it's fucking tough man I have to say like it's should probably nearly say bah humbug on this Santy hat, you know, but uh, fair play to Sean, like he's sticking with me, like he's uh, he's uh, he's giving me a bit of moral support, like, but like you're trying to get your food in, if, look, you know this stuff, you're trying to get your food in, you have to manage your salts, you have to manage your water. Uh, we have a support team, so we're after changing our clothes twice, we need to change our clothes because. 
start sweating like like this we are just so blessed with the with the uh we're so blessed with the weather i think i'm probably even making this video just as an excuse to stop for a walk <laughs> but i was still, I, I planned to do like the video every 25k but i was in the depths of despair i was like if you see me at 50k i was like someone was at the kicking me dog i was in bad form so we're out now at uh we're just going into sandyford now to go to marley park and then from marley park i think from marley park up to talla no yeah marley park to knockline knockline to talla talla to clondalkin and clondalkin to to bally but look we'll, we'll get through i ain't fucking giving up you know even if i have to crawl along i will but I'm kind of being lucky with the with the pains, but it's just fucking tough, man. I don't know what the story is. I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll 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 Google a good word to describe it, and I'll write it in here. I'll put it in the description later on, then you know. But uh, fucking Ken, Ken from Cherry Orchard Running Club is a machine. Like he's such an inspiration to Cherry Orchard. He's like he's got 120 people in his club down there. He's a legend of a man, he is, you know, and. Uh, he was staying back to like give us a dig out and all um, and he's like listen do you mind if I just go ahead because like, that's his job you know all his crew all his team they're all waiting from down at the finish line at 3 o'clock so we slightly after that before we get there but look we'll be there you know um, I don't like the idea of under 100k I think we go for 101k it just sounds it has a better ring to it doesn't it it's like a game of darts or something you know 101 you know Right, we're uh, just about 75 in. Had a major crash there a while ago, but mental crash, but we're all right, feeling good now. We actually stopped our watches and all, but we actually for about three kilometers, so we're giving ourselves an extra 3k to do. We're feeling good, I just don't want to get, just don't want to fall back into that hole before we finish, so uh, this pace will be finished in another two and a half hours, which is 12. 12 ish hours, which is what we set out to do, but uh, oh, we keep going. Shani, come out here and say hello to this man. He's in there, eat. Tell the boys how you're doing. Good, man. New. He bailed me out, he kept me going there earlier on. I was in a, I was in a dark hole, I was in. He kept me on my toes and he kept me going. Second one, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, behind the lads, I'm at the, I'm at the taking it one piece of every bit of the natural sugars there, oh, being out. Final you can't, you can't do this stuff without support him. You can't do it, man. It's a fucking scary place when you just, like when you just let every like, part of your body's telling you. It's, to quit. it's not even that. It's just like it just everything gets in on you, and and you have to just try and drag yourself over. And if you keep going, then it just lifts. Whereas if you stop, you will be right to stop. But like, yeah. it's like it's it's a pure. It's it's more of a mind game than nothing else. Running yeah. around, like we are running for hours in pitch black, like yeah. And, uh, the early start didn't help us. Like, oh, the fact that we didn't get a wing just made it a bit like. tougher as well, I'm friends. So we're going to go into Talla, down into yeah, Valley. We're going to go down into Talla, up as far as the just before the Joe's Town Inn, and we'll take the right there, we'll go down the the Grange Castle Road, and then we're going to we're going to kind of come out at the Font Hill. Uh, Font Hill and um, down Prison Road into Valley and the Cold Cup. Yeah. Straight the way up. Cold Cup straight the way up and uh, we yeah, get we get to the to the finish line for the time we're supposed to be there. So we'll have to just throw another little bit in then. They get <laughs> we're not out of the woods yet, like, but it's nice to have been able to do it, you know.
This boy's a hiding a lot of pain. He's <laughs> <laughs> a hiding the well. He's <laughs> <laughs> a hiding the well. He's a hiding the well. He's Bolo down Black Ditch, yeah? They're not in the park anymore, they took the finisher yoke down. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. So down Black Ditch through the bollards and then straight down to the Balia Club entrance, yeah. yeah? Tell them to put that fucking back up or it'll be more. I will, I'll get on to them now. Where <laughs> are the ice bats today gone? Probably, probably, we'll probably see what we can here. do. Are you not cold enough? Yeah, fill one up, Bobby. So that's it folks, 100 kilometre race done, not even a race, just a run, 100 kilometres done, it's over 12 hours, I'm starving, I'm like so starving, like, it's not even funny, it's like crazy how hungry I am right now. I'm just walking back down to the base where they, they had uh, they had to put a little show on for us. It was absolutely amazing there. Fair play to all the guys there. We got so much support today. People coming out giving us food on the course and all. We literally just couldn't take it all because we had nowhere to put it. But uh, fair play, like it was actually really good to see people just like kind of get behind you, you know. So uh, thanks a million for that. We had. Uh, the reason why I'm walking on my own now in the darkness is because we stopped a couple of times and when you stop you have to pause your watch in the heat of the moment we forgot to unpause the watch so where I'm walking now is the exact place where we ran down people were there to give us medals and hugs and all that sort of stuff and taking photos and it was great and as we're getting the photos I'm like Looking at me watch saying, fuck, like, you know, we'd done the distance, but the watch didn't say it. And anybody who's a runner knows how important it is to get these targets on your watch because you get a little, you get a little badge, you know. So we had to stop, we had to stop and uh, get uh, the photos and all that. And I'm like, fuck, I've got to run for another 40 minutes now. So uh, we just went and ran and myself and Sean ran. He's gone ahead of me, I don't know where he is, but like, man, there's some weird feelings, like, in my body right now. And you know what? Those feelings weren't there when, uh, when we were coming down. It's just that last little bit, and I don't know, maybe the adrenaline's getting you going, but I have zero adrenaline in my body. I 
have zero energy have zero anything but like if you follow the work I do you know that I uh, have a certain way of viewing the world you know and before today I always had this little thing in my head that I think I can actually do anything I want if I just set my mind to it I think I can do anything I want if I set my mind to it and after running 100 kilometers in one day like I actually know now that I can do any single thing I want once I just put my mind to it, you know, I like, I just feel I can do anything once I put my mind to it. I just want to say thanks a mil to my good buddy, Sean Bowen from uh, Red Cow Fitness. I just like, get so much motivation from him and come on and uh, I get so much knowledge. He's just like a book of knowledge on running and fitness and everything. So I just have to just turn up and uh, I just have to turn up and just do what he tells me and it's it's so great because I don't need to think about it. And here's my little buddy, Kato. Uh, oh, sorry, bro. Uh, and there's my darling. Where's Sean? Linda. She's where's my, Sean? She has my baby in her belly. <laughs> uh, he'll be around now in a minute. But, uh, you know, I just think, like, uh, it's hard for anybody to say that running 100k is not, a, it's not an achievement. I'm going to show you here what you're doing for us now. <laughs> Let's do this here, okay? <laughs> you got 100k, the K has a mind of its own, you know. <laughs> but, uh, guys, thanks for all the messages and all that. Thanks for coming and meeting us on the parcel food and all today. Just remember, there's no limits to a man who puts his mind to things. Thanks for watching.